What's up YouTube? John here. Welcome back to JDS Outdoors. In today's episode, we're going to go over a few things. So first of all, how about that thumbnail? I'll, uh, I'll explain that little story and also what's going on behind me here. So, for starters, as I'm sure you read by the title, this is the official kickoff of the Jet Boat Build 3.0 series. It's going to be intermingled with a few other things. But, so the thumbnail, that happened in my quest for a motor for said jet boat series. Started off a few weeks ago, and uh, I've been on this hunt ever since, and that is why it's taken so long to post up a video. But, I traded for those jet skis. I was looking... For one, and I had a, uh, my bike that I was trying to trade for a single jet ski, and this guy says, well, I got two, and I said, okay, what kind? He says, Polaris. I said, no, nah, I don't want a Polaris. He says, well, they both run, and um, one just needs a carb clean. So I'm like, all right, I guess you got my interest a little bit. So I went up, looked at them. One of them uh, definitely didn't ran, run, the carb clean one, had a seized motor. The other one had good compression and all that stuff, so I'm like, that one will run. So I did the trade anyways, um, stupidly. Get it home, it doesn't run, it needed another engine rebuild, so I spent the last two weeks trying to part out those and get them off of my property because i was tired of looking at him i was a little irritated with that whole situation shouldn't have trusted the guy but i did and here we are so it delayed this a couple weeks but i have another one that's why there's a bunch of space on this trailer because i hauled the actual power plant for the jet boat build and i'll get to that here in a minute Got to show it to you. But anyway, so right here on the trailer, we have we have some pontoons. And uh, let's take a little walk real quick, and I'll show you why I got them pontoons and not the rest of the boat. But here we go. All right, so back behind my house here, we have a lake. And when I moved in here about, I don't know, six, six, seven years ago, there was a floating dock out here made with plastic barrels, but it was a horrible design. So I've kind of always had the intentions of building another dock. And plastic barrels, fairly cheapish and common, so I'm like, I'll just build another one of those. But a little better design. Let's go over here. My neighbor has a wonderful looking masterpiece of a dock here with plastic barrels. And you can see how well those are holding up. Um, this lake is pretty tough to have a, a dock on because it fluctuates so much. And he put this in a couple years ago. So I've got to watch it and watch it get ripped apart constantly every winter when the ice sheet moves and also uh, when the lake comes up 10 to 14 feet so I quit looking towards a plastic floating or um, barrel dock so that brought me to the idea of using a pontoon because that is quite a bit more stout and stable than uh Old barrel dock over there. So I am going to build a pontoon floating dock somewhere down there with steps and stuff going from over here somewhere down there. So that's one one thing that's going to happen this summer. On a killer deal on them pontoons. Um, like cheaper than you can buy four plastic barrels for. So I kind of had to. But that's one 
thing that's going to happen here very, very, very quickly. Next thing that's going to happen is let's go for another walk. There's this area over here. There's a couple sheds down there and this pile of wood and my redneck wood shed and all these trees, especially that one that's dying and that one that's dying. I'm gonna remove that and make quite a bit more storage over here on the other part of my land. Get this cleaned up. So that's going to happen here very, very, very soon. All at the same time while working on the jet boat. Now I'm sure you really, really want to see what the power plant is. And we'll get there in a second. Uh, the next video I'm sure on this is I'm going to take it out on the lake and test it out. See how it works. And then i got to get the metal ordered. I have some of it. But I want to do, I'm going to build the whole hull everything custom um, from scratch obviously other than the motor and the, the jet drive but the intake and everything else is going to be all from scratch um, so get all that ordered picked up and then once the testing's done on the motor making sure everything's good we'll uh, start cutting it apart and start building the coolest little jet boat for cruising out back here that I've built yet but I suppose without further ado, let's head in the garage and show you what is going to power this little 10 foot long jet boat that I'm going to build. So let's check it out. All right, you ready for this? We have a really nice aluminum trailer here that came with it. it has a spare tire. Gets pulled great by the old Honda here. Let's check out the other side here. Yep, still an aluminum trailer. Nice looking setup. So a little 10 foot jet boat will fit on that perfectly. And what's going to power it is this beautiful 2007 SeaDoo GTI 155 horsepower four stroke jet ski. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost going to be a shame to cut this thing up, but that's why I bought it got reverse it's all nice and shiny I am gonna break hearts when I take a sawzall to it but don't worry we're gonna ride it first let's uh, pop the hood here show you what power plant looks like Rotax powered three-cylinder fuel injected four stroke engine it's going to be great it's not going to be nearly as loud as the other one and if you haven't checked out the other one uh, or the other ones my first attempt jet boat one the river rat was kind of a flop I had to scrap it I made some mistakes but I learned my lesson jet boat two was a huge success um, in my mind I had a few little things I had to change nowadays but I also learned a lot and it worked great. I used it for a year. I loved it and I've been missing it. So now this one is going to be great. And if you haven't checked it out, Jetpoint 2.0 video series, there's 27 episodes on it. Feel free to check that out. I'll leave a link to the uh, whatever in the description if you want. Go ahead. If not, make sure you stay tuned at least for the Jetboat 3.0, the best jet boat to date when it comes down to the ones I built at least. I am uh, super excited. So, make sure if you want to uh, if you want to see these projects happen this summer, it's going to be a good year. I'm not sure exactly what else is going to happen other than what I've went over in this video, but um, 
make sure you follow along hit subscribe if you want um yeah that's that's about it let me know what you think um if anybody out there watching this has this jet ski let me know what you think of it mechanical wise all that i've uh, done a little bit of research on it prior to purchasing and i've heard a bunch of good things about it uh, i haven't heard really much for negative i mean every once in a while you get one that blows up but i mean every once in a while you get a honda that blows up too which is very rare because it's a honda but it happens so these parts are available they still use this engine today this one's got low hours it's like 190 um which isn't bad for being 13 14 years old so yeah i'm, I'm stoked excited and uh if you made it this far in the video i appreciate you uh watching also 9,000 subscribers that's pretty cool hopefully i get a little more out of this whole ordeal um yeah as always thank you for watching jds outdoors